welcome back to my beauties big sister channel i currently have nothing on my face um but i thought i would start this video bare face because i'm going to be doing a video that i've never done before and following and recreating a makeup tutorial from the 1960s i was literally laying in bed one morning scrolling through facebook and this random makeup video popped up and i was like oh my god this is so cool so if you want to see what a 1960s makeup tutorial is like and the products they used and the techniques they used then just keep on watching okay so i've tried to use quite iconic like old school brands in this video so classic this is the estee lauder double wear but it's the nude ones so it's a lot lighter and um, so i know she starts off with foundation oh, makeup. okay let's foundation start it yeah. Work okay. the foundation from the center of the face toward the hairline. Okay, her skin looks great by the way. It's super dewy and glowy. Love that we're just going in with our fingers. Um, this is actually a really great formula to apply with your fingers because it's so light. So it said to work it from the center of your face to your hairline. I actually haven't used this foundation in so long and I forgot how gorgeous the formula is. Basically like a tinted moisturiser to be fair. It's really, really light and dewy. What is my shade? My shade is tawny. There we go. Who needs a beauty blender? <laughs> Using gentle upward strokes. Oh, upward strokes. Make sure it's blended evenly. Competitions <laughs> will guide you in your colour choice. Lovely. A foundation with a pink glow will brighten a sallow skin, while a reddish nice. skin can be toned down with a beige foundation. Okay. Blot off excess Ooh. the tissue. Oh, I need to go and get a tissue. I ain't got a tissue. <laughs> right, pack of tissues. <laughs> if you have disturbed skin, medicated makeups are available. Oh, okay. Blotting the excess off, which is what she told me to do, but I feel like it's kind of lifting a bit of the coverage. I'm not gonna lie. Um, this is what my tissue looks like. I mean, it gives a very natural look, to be fair. Okay, what are we doing next? Dark circles under the eyes are often caused by not enough sleep and lack of iron. Oh my god, I have a lack of iron. Use a foundation two or three tones lighter than your base. Okay, we definitely don't want a foundation. Let's just go in with the concealer. Maybe they didn't have concealer at this time so they just get a lighter foundation um i'm gonna use this one which is the clinique beyond perfecting super concealer um what is the shade this is number one fair so to be fair she's not put that much underneath her eyes is she we're just popping it underneath the eyes she's not putting it anywhere else i mean the temptation to do it up here down i mean i'm gonna try and not do that again no brushes we're just using our fingers. To be fair, a lot of makeup artists still use their fingers rather than using brushes because they f feel like it. You can really work the product into the skin. Oh, blush. I'm going to take this one, which is the Bobbi Brown Bronzing Duo. So it's got the medium bronzing powder and the Santa Barbara Bronzing powder wait how is that called a bronzing powder i'm confused that is definitely a blush isn't it <laughs> so we're using this blush and bronzer this looks really similar to like nars orgasm it's a beautiful um pink with a gold shimmer and then a nice medium bronzing powder right what's she gonna tell me to do a quiet glow a good rule to follow is never let blush come nearer the nose than an imaginary line Dropped vertically from the center of the eye. What? Blush should be applied from the center of the cheek outward and up into the temples. Ah, so what? That is not what we've been told. Always on the apples of the cheek. She's saying don't even go past the middle of the eye. I mean, I feel like this looks mad. Cute color, but I'm basically using blush as a contour right now. I mean, when did we decide that this wasn't a thing? Blushes can also be used for contouring. Okay. Example, a tone three shades darker than the foundation yep. can be used to point up a cheek or diminish a wide jaw. Oh, okay. So we're going here underneath our blush with the bronzer 
and then down. This is what I do for like a Halloween tutorial. <laughs> not sure how I feel about this at the minute. Temptation not to do the hairline and my nose is hard right now. She also took it underneath the jawline as well. Funny that they knew what contouring was in 1960. So Mario didn't invent contouring. It was always there. <laughs> right, now we're gonna move on to loose powder. I'm gonna use this because it's, I think one of the oldest loose powders you can get. And it's corn silk. I think that's what you call it. Yeah, corn silk, original translucent powder. I mean, this is so old school, but it is really good. It comes with a puff and everything. Oh, <laughs> you can get this in like super drug. It is a really, really good powder. Oh my God, this is going everywhere. I haven't used this in the longest time. Powder sets and blends your makeup. The simplest powder to use is a colorless, translucent one. She's using a ball of cotton wool. Oh, God, liberally. A tuft of cotton that can be thrown away is the best powder puff to use. Brush away excess downward strokes okay right so we're going over with the puff on top of makeup and then i'm just going to use because i don't have a puff i haven't actually bought cotton wool in god knows how long um with a with a clean one we're sweeping that away i mean i feel like we're applying makeup and then kind of taking it away there we go eyebrows frame the eye they do they are also important in the shaping of the nose Eyebrows can make a nose seem like to remove straggly brows, lubricate them with Vaseline or baby oil, and pluck with tweezers. What I have grabbed the Elizabeth Arden eight hour cream, which is the same kind of consistency as Vaseline. Um, so they're using that or oil to slick down the eyebrows before we've um, filled them in, which is interesting. But let's let's do it. Oh, actually, it's making them look really glossy. <laughs> okay, this might be something I end up actually doing. How much better does that one look compared to that one? Hey, this is a good little tip. My eyebrows do need plucking, but we're not going to do that. I'm going to take this eyebrow pencil, which is the Never Rimmel. Never eyebrows further than the line, even with the inside corner of your eye. Yeah, true. Other plucking should be done under the brow and never above it. My mum always said that to me, never above. Why? Only the darkest brunettes should use a black pencil. Yeah, let's let's not use black. No one should use black. Should be a straight line from the outer edge of the iris. The tapered end of the brow should form a straight line past the outer corner of the eye to the side of the nostril. Straight. We're not even going down. We're just we're just going straight out. Curved round eyebrows weren't a thing, <laughs> obviously. The eyebrow pencil that I'm using is the Rimmel Brow This Way Fiber Brow Pencil in Dark. I believe that Rimmel was like one of the first ever makeup brands. I think they had the first ever mascara, which was like, wasn't it like a paste or something? I can't remember. It was like a paint rather than the mascaras that we know nowadays. But I think they brought out the first mascara if I am correct see where i've got the eight hour cream on the pencil isn't applying that well like it's just <laughs> kind of sliding away so i wouldn't really recommend doing the eight hour cream before pencil maybe after pencil but uh, not before <laughs> blend pencil strokes into your brow with a clean mascara brush let's just use the benefit goof proof spoolie just to comb through these mascara applied to lashes that is would complete the well groomed brush. eye and is sufficient eye makeup for the early teens however if you wish to give more attention to the eye you may use the following procedure a mid highlight with oh. a creamy pale shade is flattering to the wait we haven't even gone in mascara that's next okay so we're going with a highlight of a creamy shade. So I'm gonna take this L'Oreal one, uh, Glow Monomore Illuminating Highlighting Drops. It's like a nice champagne color. And she is popping this as a base on her eye. Eyes. Never wear bright, obvious evening colors. <laughs> you can't say that. 
<laughs> never wear bright colours. To be fair, hers looks a little bit more whiter, doesn't it? Maybe I'm going to go in with, uh, it's the Barry M Crushed Jewel Cream Eyeshadow, but I'm not really a fan of like light shades like this. But this is called Duvet Day. And this is actually more of the consistency that she is using. It actually doesn't look as bad as I thought it was going to. For contour and emphasis, a taupe or brown shade is placed into the lid crease and just above the lid. I'm going to take my MAC palette, the uh, Natural Vice eyeshadow palette, because it's got all the beautiful taupe brown shades in there. This shade, I don't know what this one is called but it's a nice light brown and I'm popping this here. Oh wow, that come out stronger than I thought it would. Didn't want it that strong. That looks quite nice. More beige on the bone just beneath the brow emphasizes the bone structure. I'm literally just using the eyeshadow that I use. I know Barry M isn't an old school brand, but I didn't actually have a cream eyeshadow like this color in this consistency in a more old school brand, so. That's why I'm using that. Right now, what does she say? I think we're going on to eyeliner. I'm gonna take the Benefit Roller Liner in brown. Eyeliner is used to make the lashes seem longer. There should be no hard, obvious line. Apply as close to the lashes as possible. And remember, black can only be worn by girls with very black hair. You can't say that. You can only wear black eyeliner if you've got very black hair. <laughs> so I presumed that she meant that we should be applying browns. That's why I chose this brown liner. So I'm doing it like she said, super close to the lash line there. Flattering shade, blondes or brunettes, as black adds harshness to the eye. Okay. Mascara makes lashes look longer and fuller. Yes. Incidentally. No amount of eye makeup will help if your eyes are drowsy and lackluster. <laughs> to be wide-eyed and alert, a full measure of sleep is necessary. Absolutely. The right food definitely relates to the clearness and sparkle of your eyes. Vitamin A and plenty of water are essential for this. I had no idea that food affected the sparkle in your eyes. Commentary is just brilliant. Right, I don't know what kind of brush she's using. I do not have one like that. So I'm just going to take this eyebrow spoolie just to comb through the lashes and separate them. So it's like super, super natural and fluttery. The generally accepted age for wearing lipstick is about 14. A subtle cut. 14? Oh my god, I was definitely wearing makeup in primary school, I think. Yeah, definitely. I think I was wearing lipstick, or at least a lip balm when I was young. Prop your elbows firmly on the table, supporting the chin with one hand, or <laughs> staining the action with your drawing hand. Start from the center of the upper lip, drawing a smooth curve to the outer corner. On the lower lip, start at the corner and come to the center the brush laid flat. Oh, I'm meant to be doing it with a brush. Damn it. <laughs> the Bobbi Brown Ultra Fine Eyeliner Brush. I'm going to use this. And um, this is the Bobbi Brown Crushed Lip Color in Plum. I feel like this is kind of the shade that she's applying. I mean, how funny that they used to think that you had to be in position and holding your chin in order to do your lipstick. I mean, I just do it like in a nightclub, not even looking in a mirror. <laughs> Holding the chin around in with the lip. I mean, this is just long. I'd just rather do this to be honest. I love the formula of these crushed lipsticks. It's so like buttery. Okay, so then after this, we are blotting. For a softer, smoother look, apply a lip gloss. Remember, Lips need protection as well as the skin. Okay, so then I feel like we go back in. She didn't actually put on a lip gloss, so. Does anyone else blot? I mean, it's just not something that I do. I feel like it was like such a thing when I was younger that if you were wearing a lipstick, you know, it was essential to blot, whereas I never ever do that anymore. Blemishes cannot be entirely avoided by most young girls. Makeup can conceal them, but a healthy diet and cleanliness can often prevent them. It's not that simple, babe. Most important, never pick or squeeze a blemish. It so, makes matters worse. 100%. So with this, she's putting the stick concealer on. I just use the Bare Minerals Red Pro and then we're pressing it into the skin. I mean, I don't know why she didn't do this before 
we put the powder on and then after that she's going back in with a trusty little puff technique the puff and the cotton pad oh what? <laughs> that's so random this is my 1960s makeup look Do you know what it doesn't actually look that bad i quite like it i mean it's quite matte very matte skin because of all the powder and the excessing blotting and everything I actually really like the eyes. I thought I'd hate them, but I actually do really like it. The cream shimmer looks really pretty with the brown. The thing that threw the, me the most was 100% the location of the blusher. I have loved following this tutorial. I thought it was really, really fun to do and something a little bit different. So I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you want me to do other kind of videos like this, recreating other videos, then let me know in the comments. I hope you beauties are all well. Please comment below and let me know how you are and what you're up to. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.